Greetings. Thank you for joining us once more as we have been journeying through these devotions in the book of James. And today we are camping at James chapter 5 from verse 1 to verse 6. And allow me to read. Now listen, you rich people, weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. Look, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the innocent one who was not opposing you. Let us just say a word of prayer. And so would you speak to us, Lord, through your word? And would your word as it comes to us, leave us transformed in Jesus' name. Amen. James starts writing in this chapter and he makes a cry. He cries out to the rich. He says, now listen, you rich people. And I'm sure perhaps when you heard that, your mind immediately switched. And you said, maybe this is a good message, actually. I think the rich ought to hear this kind of message. I am sure your first impulse was not to think that this was actually addressed to you. But the question that I want us to begin with at this particular time and moment is, do you actually consider yourself rich? Maybe not. But the most interesting thing is when you look at the statistics, a majority of you that are watching this currently would actually be considered rich. I, who is speaking to you currently, I think this message applies to me equally. And so let me ask you a few questions to determine whether you are rich or not. What kind of a house do you live in? Do you access the toilets outside of the house or do you have it still within your house? I mean, you have the privilege of watching this, meaning you can afford bundles or perhaps you have installed Wi-Fi in your house. Do you hire someone, either on a permanent basis or once in a while to do some of your chores like laundry? There are many questions that we could ask regarding what it means to be rich. But my urge to you is, as you listen to this, do not think of this as a message to the elite. Do not think of this as a message to the political class, but think of this as a message to you as well. And so James starts with a warning. Now listen, you rich people, weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. It's a warning to us who, after you have answered the questions I asked at the beginning, would actually say, I actually think I am in the category of the people that James is addressing this day. And it is a warning of the doom that is to befall the rich. He says, your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. This is a threat of eternal damnation. James is giving here a picture of the hellfire that is to befall all those that are wicked and have gone against the dictates of the Lord. Wail, weep because of the misery that is to come upon you. But then you may ask, but why? Why? Why would we have to suffer this way? Why would we have to suffer in this manner? Now James would give the response to that. And three quick ways he responds to that. Number one, it's because of the injustice that has been caused to the poor. It's because of the injustice that has been meted out against the oppressed. It's because of the injustice that continues to prevail and that you and I continue to be perpetrators. 
He says, verse 4, Look, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You know, the scriptures declare elsewhere that the field of the poor would have abundant fruit, but injustice drives it away. And so we who have been perpetrators in oppressing others, we that have taken advantage of others, we that are in a slightly position of privilege and have used it wrongly, James says, the cries of these people have reached the Lord Almighty. And as a result, weep and wail because of the misery that is to come upon you. And I wonder, are you involved in any kind of injustice? Do you pay your workers on time? Do you pay the lady that washes your clothes on time? When someone washes your car, do you tell them, Wacha nita kulipa badai? Or do you actually give them their due when it is due? But also, James says, verse 5, You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves in the day of slaughter. And he's talking about a life lived without consideration for the Lord. He's talking about a life lived purely for self-indulgence. And what he's saying is that the very riches that you have boasted in, the very riches that you have considered to be your wealth, are now actually turning out to be your ruin. And riches, brothers and sisters, can be dangerous if we are not careful. They give us a false sense of comfort and we forget the Lord Almighty who owns us. And so he says, we have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. And as a result, you have fattened yourselves in the day of slaughter. The riches are only setting you up for that which is to come. And then lastly, he says, you have condemned and murdered the innocent one who was not opposing you. We are in a society that is known for butchering individuals and for murdering without even blinking an eye. And God sees. God sees. And have you been involved in any form of oppression because God does see? And so remember where we started about we who are rich. So you're asking maybe as I am examining myself, I may have been involved in one of these things. So oh, James says, the misery that is coming on you is great. So what do you do? He began by saying, weep and wail. That, brothers and sisters, is a picture of repentance. Repent, repent, repent in any way that you have sinned against God as a result of your riches in ways that you have caused injustice, in ways that you have lived in self-indulgence, in ways that you have oppressed others, and even perhaps murdered. Repent. What an amazing thing to know, that our God is merciful. And even the rich, as Jesus said, are able to enter the kingdom because that which is impossible with man is possible with God. I pray that the Lord would speak to you and minister to you for his glory and for your good. In Jesus' name, amen.